Hi and welcome to my run through of the solo mode of Blitzkrieg. Um, I'm just showing you here the this is the main wall book and I'm going to be keeping the back uh, visible for all the special uh, building effects and this is the solo wall book which you can see here and I'm keeping this open at the stratagem tokens so I can see what's what in that. So that's all set up. This is the board. Um, I've got the uh, the bot side all set up here with his five starting tokens, some very nice bags, it's got the rest of his tokens in. This is my bag and these are my tokens to start with. We have a Sully mug for drawing his stratagem tokens out of, which are going to be in here. Here are the research tiles. And here we've got the board set up. Um, all the theatre indicators are uh, zero at the moment. So for setup we're going to roll the die three times and increase each one I roll up uh, twice on its track. And this is medium level difficulty. So I'll show you how this works. So two. So these are numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. We just choose one. So two is in the Pacific Ocean. So we'll move that up two on its track. Another two. So we move him up two more on his track. Here we go. And a one. So then Western Europe goes up two on that track. And that's the setup. So we're on to the first round. So what we're going to do is always oh, start with the um, the steamroll stratagem token out because that's, you don't want to draw that first. So we're first going to draw a new stratagem from the cup. And we have a rapid deployment. Uh, this goes back in the cup now. So rapid deployment, we can see here, is a unit filter, choose the most valid unit. So whatever it does, it's going to use that token to play out. So what we're going to do is go through, and I'll show you here, this is the um, quick reference. We're going to go through from top to bottom just to see where he's going to play. So first of all, nothing's out here, so he can't close any theatres, he can't win any campaigns. Um, the, there's no stress from filter for the theatre, so we move on to the position. Sorry, we move on to the, um, the theatres tied, because they're all tied. So most empty spaces in an open campaign. So you can see here, the top most of the open campaign, there's two here, three here, two here, four here, and three here. So this has got the most open, he's going to pick this one. The next up is a position where he's going to go. Um, there is no, again, no override for the stratagem, so we look to see, uh, he's nowhere near 20 VP obviously, because we're just starting. Um, the first thing he's going to look for is strategic advantage space, which is one of these. So he's going to pick that space. And for the unit, we know that rapid deploy is just going to boot the first one he has there. That can't go into a military space, so he's actually going to find the first non uh, sorry, um, navy space. He's going to find the first army space he can put in, so that is this plane goes into here, this is worth one influence, it goes up on one there, and he will move up three on another one. So how do we determine which is the other one he goes up on? So if we look here in the rules, we will see if he does a strategic advantage, he will execute the modifier which causes the greatest damp change. And then greatest change, we'll have a quick look over here, one that turns a player lead over a theatre into a bot lead. Now I'm not winning on any tracks yet because I haven't had a turn. One that turns a tie into a bot lead. So there are two tracks left, this one and this one, which could turn his uh, into the tie into his lead. Um, so we then have to choose which one of those. We don't need to look at any more higher, any further down the priority list. We need to just choose one of those. And he's going to roll a die to decide. And let's say one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's a six, so it's this one here. So he's going to go up three on that track. And that's his turn done there, so he moves those along, he picks out a new token for next time, which is a level 1 navy, and it's over to my first turn. So I have fairly low value units there. Um, now I, he's quite far up on Pacific Ocean and he's quite far up on south, uh, the Southeast Asia, I might want to go on one of these to try and pull back a bit. I quite like the idea of maybe going to here to get this research spot, so I think I'll do that. So I'm going to send my navy, which is influence 2, so we go back to that way. And the research means I get to pick a tile and put it into my bag, so I'm just going to pick one of these. I can see what this is. What is this? It's a scientist, so we can use her later. Into my bag, and then let's draw a new one out, and it's a plane. Doesn't matter where that goes. Back to his turn. He draws a new one from the Sully Cup. And it is a For the Glory. This one goes back in the cup. For the Glory. So there's a theatre filter and a position filter for this. 
So as we're going to pick theatre first, he can't close any theatres. Could he close that and win though? Yes, he could, because quite likely he's going to win that. So he's going to go there. Uh, it's a navy space, so we can ignore all the other... In fact, For the Glory has no effect at the moment, because he's just picking one he's going to close and win. Um, so the navy space, he can put all except general in that one. So he's got four to choose from, so we're going to roll dice for which he chooses. He's got a one, so he's going to take this navy. So the navy goes in there, he moves up two on there. Um, he's, I'll do the, his bombing in a minute. He's closed this campaign, which means he gets these victory points. So he is on the victory point track. He also gets to do his, his bombing now. So that means he randomly discards one of my piles. So let's shuffle this up a bit. And he's going to get rid of this one. He's going to go back in. So, oh, look at that. He's definitely with my two level ones. So this goes back in the bag. And he is done with his turn. He didn't actually use his stratagem that turn. And there we go. He's got five back now. So that wasn't good for me because I'm now down to two people. So I might want to look to try and get into a factory to get what they call the factory, the industrial production, which are these spots here. Now these are nice because they let you draw extra tokens out. Now that's he's also he's winning on that one, so I might want to go there, or I might want to come up here where it's currently drawn. So I think I might do that. So I'm going to put down my tank into the factory space. I get one influence that way, and I get to draw, immediately draw a tile out of here, and it's my scientist. And then my end of round, I get to draw a tile out, and I get another army. Okay. So the scientist is interesting. She will let you place anywhere, even not in an active campaign. So I could place her, for example, down here. But she has no effect and no strength on her own, so she doesn't do much more than that. Okay, so let's pick the bot's turn, he has got research and development. So research and development, we can see here, has a theatre position and a unit. So he wants to do research, in other words. So first of all, can he close any theatres? No. Can he close any campaigns and win? Now he could potentially close this, and if he pushes it over, he could win. But you'll see here, he has got no two strength. Um, they're, they're his army spots, which you'd have, he'd need. Neither of those are two strength. That would only be a strength one because he hasn't got any other units there. So that would just tie it, and he doesn't want to tie. He wants to win, so he's not going to do that. So he will go into the tiebreakers here. So if we go through the list here, um, the strategy filter says he wants to... Where are we? Research development. Prioritise theatres with research spaces. So research spaces are these cog wheels here. And it's only active campaigns interesting. So there's one here, and uh, there's one here, and that's a two, so he likes that one as well. There's one here, and that's it. So he's got a choice of those three. So the next thing he prioritises, yeah, look at the tiebreaker, uh, most empty spaces. So there's three in that row, there's four in that row, and there's three in that row. So he's going to go for the Pacific Ocean one. And wouldn't you know it, it's a two spot, a two research, which is very good for him. So that's a navy space, so he can't use his tank or his general, but he can use either of those three. That's what he gets. It's a six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, he uses this navy slot. Goes in there, pushes him one forward, he's now on that one VP spot. If he wins another campaign, he gets that bonus. And he gets two research tiles, so let's just pick two from the pile anywhere, pop into his bag. And then, end of round, he picks another one out. Back to me, what am I going to do? So I could go to another factory space, uh, with my, maybe with my uh, scientist at any point, but I think, actually, what I'd like to do is close off this campaign while I'm winning it. So I'll take my tank, pop that in there. So he's a strength one, and he's going on a plus one, which is a tactical advantage, which means I get an extra one along there. And that gets me two VP, so I'm now tied with him on the score track. That wasn't too bad, and then I'm going to get a tire to my bag. It is a three strength uh, tank. Brilliant. His turn. Let's see what he gets out of the Sully Cup. He gets Secure. So Secure has just a theatre filter. Choose theatres where the IO bot is in the lead. So that's what he's going to do now. So he's in the lead on this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. So he's in the lead on three of them, four of them. So the next thing he's going to do is find the one with the most empty spaces. 
noting of course that he can't close any campaigns at the moment. Um, so that's got three, 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 and three. They all have three. So what's the next tie rate? We'll have a look. Highest VP for current campaign. So we have three points, two points, three points, two points. So it's between one of those two. What's the next level of tiebreak? Top to bottom. So this is technically higher than this one. So he's going to go for this one. Okay, so this so he's going to go. Nothing else is secure for tiebreak on position or unit. So we just go to the normal position tiebreak. Um, he can't close it. So he's just going to go to down to here. He hasn't got more than 20 VP, he ignores that. Can he do a strategic advantage? Yes, he can. So he's going to go to the army space. Sorry, the, <laughs> the navy space. So let's get his tiles sorted. Uh, he can't use any of those. So he's got one or the other there. He's rolled a one. So it's a three strength navy. Goodness me, one, two, three. He's doing well in the Pacific. And he's going on a plus two strategic advantage. And to remind you, the strategic advantage, he, has to, he does this thing that will places in the theatre that will cause the greatest change, which is here. So can you turn a player lead into a bot lead? with a, It's on a plus two, isn't he? So that won't turn it into a plus two, so he's not going to do that one. Can he turn a tie into... No, none of them are tied, because he's winning all the rest. Uh, can he turn a player lead into a tie? No. Can he increase a more extreme AI bot lead? Yes, he can, because he's winning on all these. So he can't increase the one he's just placed on. This is the one he's furthest ahead in, so he's going to increase this one by two. That is his turn. We draw a new tile for him. There we go. So I now have this three strength army. Now I'm pretty much given up on this one at the moment. Um, I'm wondering whether we should just push on and actually start looking somewhere else uh, for something good. Um, I could, that's quite nice there to get a two. Actually, yeah, that's a nice one, I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna place my three strength army onto that spot, one, two, three, and that gets me two research tokens, so let's get those, a quick look at what those are. So I have the nuclear bomb, and I have a plane which also does a bombing as well. So those are going to go in my bag, shuffle up, draw the next one out, and oh, it's my bombing plane, very nice. Back to him, let's see what strategy he takes. And he has gone back to Oh, let me just turn the page back. Research and development. So here he's going to look to prioritise doing research. So let's see what active campaigns have research. So he can't close any. <coughs> so he has this one he can go to. Uh, that doesn't have any, that doesn't have any. That has one, and that doesn't have any. So it's between these two. Most empty spaces, they're the same. Highest VP, this one here. So let's put in, so he can put any unit in that one because it's land and sea. Uh, so let's just roll the die and see which one he picks. Oh, although, let's just double check the unit filter. If non-research space was selected, ignore non-special weapons. We did pick a research, so that's fine. So he's going for this first one here. So that is a uh, general, um, and he adds to any um, army units he's already deployed. That's not an army unit, that's kind of in both ways unit, so he only gets the plus one on that. But he does get a research, so he gets another special tile in the bag. And then he draws up again. Okay, there we go, and he's done. So, with him having five tiles, I'm quite tempted to use my plane. Um, what I think I might do, because I'm doing quite well in Europe, and I'm pushing up the points here, um, and I can't really slow him down much on the others at the moment. Although actually, no, this is interesting. I could go here, and that would neutralise it. I might do that. So, the plane, which can go in Navy or Army, goes in here. That's a strength one, and it's a plus one because it's a tactical, so he gets two up there. And there's a bombing raid, which means I get to pick. Usually it's a random choice if it's a multiplayer game, but for Solo, I can pick any of these to put back in his bag, and I think I'll put back his two-strength plane. That's far too nice for him. Right, there we go. So I get to draw up, and I have my general. Okay, so his turn. Let's see what he picks. Ah, so this is an example of a steam. A steamroll means to do the last 
event again. So he's going to do a uh, research and development. So he's looking for research spaces. This is the only active campaign with a research space. So he's going here. And he's going to place in the research space. So it's just a question of which one he's going to use. Here's number one. So it is his, um, oh, I've forgotten the name of that guy. Not Commander. This is me flicking through the rules here. The Admiral, that's it. So his Admiral is going to go into the research spot. Oh no, it can't because that's an army spot. And this is a Navy unit. So actually, it's out of those three. And it's this one, so he's going to use Tank. That's kind of better for me. So there we go, he gets that and he gets another research. He is stuck in his bag nicely full of research and some advanced people. And there is one of three strength plane. That's going to do him good later. Okay, my turn. What am I going to do now? Um, so we're doing. Well, so we neutralise here. If I place here, I get a point, and I'll push it this way, likely, and three points. So that's AI. Yeah, well, I think we're going to have to do that. Um, so there's no point in me placing that one because I haven't got any army units in there. So I'm just going to place my one strength plane, and that little ditty plane pushing me over the edge gets me the three points for, the, for that. So one, two, three. I'm on six to two, uh, six to three now. That's my turn. I get to draw another one out of the bag, and it's uh, an army. So he's done the, this one. So that's that will go back in the bag because that might be picked again. To distract his uh, steamroll doesn't. And oh no, here we go. This is a new one. So this is economic warfare. So this one he's prioritising theatres with industrial production and or bombing spaces. So he's looking for the factories or the bombing ones. So this has a factory in, this has a factory in, that doesn't, and that has a two factory in, that doesn't know anything. So there's one, two, three possible places. So the next tie break is the most empty spaces. That's got two, that's got two, that's got three. So he's going for this one. This is a navy space. He has one, two, three possible units he can send. Um, so for the position, he's actually, yeah, he's going to choose. Um, he's, he would prioritise industrial over bombing, uh, but he doesn't have uh, a bombing in his choices. So he's only going industrial. Choice of three. Number three, he's going to place his massive plane. So that gets him three that way. So he's taken back control. And he gets two, so two factory means he gets to draw two more out of his bag before drawing up. So he's now got six, he's going to have, going to have six tiles in his bag, in his, uh, his lineup. There we go. So a whole load to choose from now. And these are always in order left to right, so they will all cycle out eventually. My turn, how am I going to cope with that? So I don't really want him to win this five points here, so I kind of want to pull this back somehow. That would be very useful to do. Um, I, I very unuseful things there. So I'm wondering if I can utilise this because I can place here with my scientist. I think I'll do that. So I'm going to place her into here. So the scientist <clears throat> lets you place in any space regardless of whether the campaign's open or not and activate the ability that's on there but you, she has zero strength so she doesn't do anything else. So she doesn't help me with Eastern Europe, but she does get three. I'm going to push three on this one. One, two, three. Try and take back a bit of control on that one. And then I'm going to draw up, and I've got a uh, navy. So what's he going to do this turn? Let's see. He has got counterattack. So counterattack, two theatres where the player is in the lead. I'm in the lead on Eastern Europe and Middle East. Uh, the next tie break then would be most empty spaces. That's the current active one. So that's got two. That's got two. So they're both the same. Most VP, this one here. So he's going to go this one. Uh, there's an army. So he's going to prioritize that one because he will always prioritize one which has an action versus one that hasn't. So he's going to go for this one. Um, so the, there is a unit filter though. Ignore units that cannot cause the greatest change. So of the army units which can go in there, which are these three here, he's going to use the one that does the greatest change, which is going to be the three. So he'll place that guy in there, plus two is five. He's just pushed it one, two, three, four, five, and into the one point bonus as well, with that one play. 
That was rather cunning of him. So he draws up a new unit, and it is a uh, to blitz plane. So I really don't want him to win this, but there's no way I can stop him at the moment. I can prevent him getting that one point bonus. But do I want to give him points right now, or do I want to try and boost something else up? That's the question. Um, I really would like this factory here, but I'm not going to get anywhere near the Pacific Ocean, I think, with his lead on that. I think the factory there will let me get more. Um, and that will get me a point. I'm going to go for the factory, I think. So I'm going to place my one strength navy. Move back one that way. And that gives me a factory, so I'm going to get a bit more choice now. So I've got my Admiral comes out. My bag of shake there, and my two strength army. Okay. Back to his turn. He picks a strategy, which is research and development. So the theatre research and development filter is to prioritise theatres with research spaces. But first of all, we need to check if you can close and win any campaigns and any theatres. You can do this one. This closes the whole theatre because it would have finished the last campaign. Um, so he'll get lots of points for that. So he's going to close this one. It's just going to place here. So we don't need to look at any further tie breaks on anything. He's going to go there and he's going to go there. Well, we do need to check the unit filter just to see if anything else happens. Uh, Non-research space was selected, which it was. Ignore non-special weapons if possible. Well, he hasn't got any specials out. These are the specials. These are yellow ones. So we're just going to use a tie break. And rolling. He won't place his plane though because it's it's a blitz one. He doesn't want to waste that. So one, two, three. His normal plane. Pushes him up one on there, so he scores five points plus the one bonus, which is six. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, nine to six now. And Africa, Middle East, that campaign, or that theatre of operations is now finished for now. So he moves up his pieces, and then he's drawn his sixth piece again. I don't like having all those, all those units to choose from, and I only have a few. So what shall I do now? Fight him. Now, Southeast Asia, interestingly, is way up here and no one's placed here at all. And yet there are points to be had there. That is tempting. This one here, if I can push this three that way, um, then I'll get the two points. I can't quite push it that far. I can get two, so I could place my tank or my general. Um, and I, oh no, the general boosts um, army, not navy. So if I place my tank, it would be uh, back to tide. Which means we'd both get two points, but I'd get this point here as well, so I'd get an extra point. But the more points he pushes, the closer he is to 25, so I don't want to push him nearer the end. So I don't really want to do that until I can probably get a three strength army here. But if I don't, he will close that next time. I don't really want him to do that. So I think what we will do... Yeah, I think I'm going to have to risk that. So I'm going to put my two strength army in there. Neutralises the pull either way. Uh, I get a point for the space. Theatre's closed, we're both tied, we both get two points. So we're on 11 to 9 at the moment in his favour. Let's see when I pull out the bag. It's a strength navy. So into the sunny cup he goes and he gets another counter attack. Okay so he wants to do ones where the player's in the lead. So I'm in the lead only on that one at the moment. So that's what he's choosing. Um, the position filter, he's going to choose this one because it's the only one that has an action in it. If he can, yes he can. And then he will ignore units that cannot cause the greatest change. So he can place, um, it's an army space, so he can place any of those three. Now he will, oh, interestingly, because he's got a blitz token, he can actually place in here or in here in order to win that campaign because the blitz will allow him to place another unit straight away. But, yes, I think he'll do that, actually. He will do that. They're both worth the same, um, and so he'll do the top to bottom, so he's going to do this one. So what he'll do is he will place his blitz plane in there, because this is the way that he's going to close the campaign. So this is actually this very top one, a campaign he can close and win. Oh, but he's not going to win that one, of course, because I'm winning that, so he won't do that. He can win this one. So in fact he'll place in here. Silly me. So he places his blitz plane. Doesn't really mean which one of those he places it in. That has no effect, but he does get the factory, so he gets to draw another token immediately. 
goes onto his pile, which he might use. And then he gets <coughs> one more he can place. And he can put anything in there, so he's going to roll off that. It's a five, one, two, three, four, five. It's his tank. Just two more, pushes him onto the two VP there. He's just scored seven points for that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's on 18, we're on nine. That is not good at all. Oh dear. So, what am I going to do to try and counteract that? There's not much I can do at the moment. Um, I'm tempted to keep focusing on Eastern Europe to try and get those points. Might be the best plan. Um, I don't have a blitz unfortunately so I can't push too hard. But I can use my general. So the general, if we just look at what the general does. So the general advances one space on the battle track for each army and air force you've deployed in the theatre of operations. So because I have one, two, three army units. Um, oh, and Air Force, so it can include Air Force as well. So if I place him in here, he is strength four, and he gives me a point, so I'm totally going to do that. So one, two, three, four, and one point. He is not, probably not, now I'm very unlikely to place there because he can't win it. So that is very, almost locked in, that's going to be five points if I can get that one, so that's pretty good. Uh, so I need to draw another unit out, and that is a two-strength plane. Okay, his turn. Um, why am I rolling the dice? No, that's fine. Get a token out. So he's going to do research and development again. So he's looking for research spaces. Uh, there's none in there. There's none in there. He can't place that. There's nothing useful in there. None in there. So he can't get into any research spaces. So he's just going to choose by normal theatre tiebreaker. Um, that means he also doesn't care about the position filter, but he will care about the unit filter, but he has no special unit, so he ignores that. Okay, so, most empty spaces. Three, three, one, three. Okay, so most VP. So we've got three, five, three, and two, so he's going to go for the five here. So uh, where will he place is the next question. He's going to prioritise research spaces, but there aren't any. So we look at, if I can turn the page, so the tie breaks are, uh, he hasn't got more than 20 yet, thankfully, he's two off that though. Uh, strategic advantage, nope. Propaganda, if the player is in the lead, nope. Industrial production, nope. Research, nope. Bombing, yes. So he's going to do a bombing. So which one can he place? That's an R, oh, that's a navy space. So let's select which one he's going to have for his placement. Number four, one, two, three, four. Place his plane. Some one up there. He's only three off completing this entire thing. That's not good. That was his turn. Gets his new arm unit out. Now I don't want him to get that far and close that really, but he would get that anyway. I think I might place him there just to get those points because he's going to get those five and those two bonus. I don't want to get him the two bonus. So I think oh, I really don't want to use my plane for this. Um, so I could get five points out here. I don't want to him potentially get that many, so I'm going to yeah, risk it. I'll put the plane in there, pulls it back two, and I get two points. Very simple one. So back to his turn, and we all draw a token out the cup. Oh, it's a strategy, um, not strategy, it's a steamroll, so he's going to do the research and development again. However, he will first look to see if he can close a theatre or a campaign. He can indeed close a campaign. So he's going to do that, obviously. So he can place any of these. Let's see which he does. It's a five. One, two, three, four, five. He'll place his plane. Pushes him back over the two. Yeah, it was unlikely I was going to be able to get away with him not getting that. He scored seven points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He has got to 25 points. Now that triggers the end game, which means that because he's the Axis player, um, I get one final turn. The best I can do, I think, is to close this to get the five points from that. It's literally all I can do. Um, I can place any of these units. I haven't got any planes so or navy in there, so that's not going to do me any good. So I'm just going to place... Well, actually, I've got two navy. I might as well place a navy. Put my navy in there. Increases by one. 3 plus the bonus 2 is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
That's all I could do. He wins 25 to 17. Well done, Evil Axis player. Boo to me losing my pitiful little army there. So I hope that you have enjoyed this run through and uh, I hope you have a look at the, uh, the games to consider picking it up. Thanks, bye.